This is grade four, module one, lesson nine, and the objective in this lesson is to use place value understanding to round multi-digit numbers to any place value. So we're gonna look at question number two from the homework, and it says round to the nearest, this is important, 10,000. Okay, so I'm looking at A, and I have 88,999, I'm looking at the 10,000s place. I know it's between 80,000 and 90,000, but it is closer to 90,000. Okay. And then I'm looking at the one next to, uh, for, for B, 85,001. And I'm looking at the 10,000s place again, which is right here. And here's, a, this one's pretty tricky. So if your number, if we're around, I'm going to just do the number line down here. I'll, I'll erase it to write my explanation. It's between 80,000 and 90,000. The midpoint is 85,000. So if it's 85,000 or higher or, or more, um, it would be closer to 90,000. 85,001 is closer to 90,000, so I'm going to write that in here. But one thing I wanted to mention, too, and our students were confused, if the number is 85,000, that it is closer to 90,000 if we're rounding by 10,000s. Okay? So we're going to look at C, and C is a little bit different. It has 789,091. We're still looking at the 10,000s place. So on a number line, that would be between... Um, 780,000 and 790,000, okay? The midpoint would be 785,000, and so that one would be closer to 790,000. And then D, still looking at the 10,000s place, it would be 910,000. So E says, explain why two problems have the same answer. Write another number that has the same answer when rounded to the nearest thousand. So we're looking at um, A and B because they both had 90,000. So my explanation reads, the problems, that, uh, problems have the same answer because 88,999 rounds up to 90,000 and 85,001 also rounds up to 90,000. A number that rounds to 90,000 could be, and I'm just going to write 94,999, and that one would round down to 90,000. Um, anything between um, 85,000 and 94,999 would be correct for another number. The next homework problem I'm going to do um, reads, at President Bush's inauguration in 2005, the newspaper headline stated that there were about 400,000 people in attendance. If the newspaper rounded to the nearest 10,000, what is the largest number and smallest number of people that could have been there? Okay. So to do this problem, I'm going to use the vertical number line. And they did say the nearest 10,000. So for this first number line, um, I'm going to say this is 400,000 here at the top. And if I'm going by 10,000s, then it would be 390,000 here. Okay, and then the midpoint is 395,000. And then on this vertical number line, I'm going to start with 400,000 here. And I'm going by 10,000s, so the top would be 410,000. And the midpoint for this one is... 405,000. So we want to know what's the smallest number of people that could have been there, and then we want to know what the largest number of people um, could have been there. So if I'm looking at this first place value chart, and what I know about rounding numbers, if it was 395,000, it would round up to 400,000. But if it was 394,999, it would round down. So the smallest number we could have would be 395,000. So then I'm looking at this um, vertical number line over here, 
and I know that anything f less than 405,000 would round to 400,000. So the the largest amount of people that could have been there would be 400 4,999 and that would be the largest. <clears throat> okay, so let's write that up. And that reads um oh, I sit there. I should just say the largest amount of people would be 404,999 and the smallest amount of people would be 395,000.